Hello, my collective. As you know, it's Sunday. As you can see, I shaved my head off because let me tell y'all something. I need to go through a transformation. All of these, like, I, I've been going through portals. I've been shifting my mindset. I've been shifting my perspective. I've been shifting my energy. It was so much that I had to change. I had to cut my hair because literally in September, October, that was the darkest time of my life. That was the darkest time of me trying to gain myself, trying to gain my soul, trying to gain my love, trying to gain, gain my essence back. I haven't been on here because I've literally just been taking a break to relax and love myself to relax and allow spirit to move me into the places he wants me to be in and to connect with the people he wants me to be around to connect me with the energies that I need to actually be <laughs> I've literally been in this energy of just like laying low and allowing myself to create a world and stop trying to fit into the world I'm trying to fit into a world that I was actually supposed to create. So God told me that. And after hearing that, after hearing that, baby, I had to sit the fuck down and understand what world do I want to create? What do I want? You know, I look, listen, the first card, my note card, because I just made some note cards. It says, so afraid to fail that I ain't moving in love. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it. So afraid to fail that I ain't moving in love. It's literally 311 by Jordan Ward. And I've just been I've, I've just been on that energy of just having to realize that I was so afraid to fail. I was so afraid to make the wrong move, make the wrong step. I was so afraid to do things that were out of my comfort zone and going live and being on YouTube and taking the opportunity and taking the chance to actually know that I'm a good ass reader. I'm a good ass channeler. I'm a good ass alchemist. Like I had to take a chance on myself and my soul to know that this is what I'm meant to do. So I had to take a moment and sit back and understand why was I holding myself back from what I've been destined to be, who I've been destined to be, what I've been wanting to do for a long fucking time. And I've been holding myself back because ah, I wasn't loving myself. I wasn't loving myself. I wasn't loving myself right. I wasn't encouraging myself right. I wasn't talking to myself right. I wasn't getting me to understand that, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can do this. God is with you. God never put you in a position to fail. So I've been taking September, October, November to really sit down and understand how to encourage myself, how to give myself a break, how to not force myself to do things that I know I don't want to do. Anyhow, I forgot my intro. Hello, you guys. This is in a conversation. As you know, I am Pinky, your resident love spirit guy. How are you doing? What's been going on? How have you been? I don't know if you like me, but one thing about me, energy holds hair. And I had a lot of energy that I just did not need. I need to cut it. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Yeah, I need to cut it. Snip, 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 snip. <laughs> it was time to date. It was time to start a new chapter. It was time to love myself. It was time to see myself. It was time to go and just create a beautiful, beautiful and wonderful life for myself. Right now, I just got this like green it's really supposed to be green but it's like greenish yellow and i like it because green means soul and yellow means happiness so when i'm doing this when i see this on the top of my head i'll be like oh my god i'm living in passion i'm living in grace i'm living in happiness i'm living in confidence you guys <laughs> but how have y'all been right now i'm gonna do a collective message because i haven't seen y'all around and i miss y'all i've really been on tiktok like if you've seen me then you know that i've really been doing my tiktok lives i've been going lives every sunday monday and wednesday i am gonna start coming back on here sunday monday and wednesday to post my consistency has to get up and that has to do with my discipline and i've been working on that too but lately i've been doing it in small doses of like waking up allowing myself to wake up early allowing myself to start praying again before i leave before i eat before i take a shower allowing myself to really just start getting back in the habit of being disciplined with my spiritual practices and that's a message within itself because november is actually asking us to focus on our plan on how to love ourselves better how to see ourselves better how to allow god to be our partner in this and not take on so much of this burden that we're actually supposed to be giving god it's like our solar plex energy has been being worked on our confidence in ourselves and our confidence 422 as i say that our confidence in knowing that we're doing everything right and knowing that we're doing everything right for ourselves and our soul and knowing that everything is going as planned everything is working in our favor we just have to continue to work with ourselves we have to continue to work with our soul we have to continue to work for us <laughs> We got to stop relying on somebody else to save us. We got to stop relying on somebody else to see us. We got to stop relying on somebody else to value us, to love us, to hear us, to be one with us. This is not what this time period is calling us for. Scorpio energy, they love to be attached to shit. They love to be attached to people because they're codependent. 
They're codependent. They don't like being alone. They don't like being by themselves. They don't like going through a journey of actually understanding their darkness because they realize they have so much darkness that if they don't actually embrace that part of themselves and try to run away from that part of themselves, that's where you get codependent uh, Scorpios. That's where you get jealous Scorpios. That's where you get like Scorpios that's really attached to the ideal of you or the ideal of something, but not really loving you and actually accepting you for who you are. And a Scorpio that's trying to control you and to manipulate you into doing something and into being something you know anyway let me let me pray let me pray because i've been gone for so long i gotta i gotta understand because right here it this says i've been at war with myself 10 a.m in santa rose that's by little russell this card says i've been at war with myself so what have y'all been going through collective what's going on okay what you been fighting? What demons you been going through? What type of judgment have you been doing? But I, I ain't really, I ain't pray, so I don't know. Thank you, love, for everything that you keep doing, everything that you will be doing, everything that you have been doing. At this present moment, I allow you within my life, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, as you see fit. I allow you to move with me, around me, and for me at this time. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your truth, and I thank you for your appreciation day in and day out. At this present moment, I allow you to speak. Tell me what my collective needs to know. Give me the words of encouragement, of truth, tough truths, honest truth, loving truth, communicative, communicative and compassionate truths that my collective needs to know at this time. I thank you. At this present moment, I allow my ascendant spiritual team within my life, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally as you see fit. I allow you to move through me, with me, and talk for me, and with me at this time. Give me the words to talk to my collective. What is it that they need to know and what is it that they need to understand at this time? In Jesus' name, amen. I say, I say. Okay, y'all. Let's see what y'all been going through. Cause I just make these flashcards today and I just want to test them out because Spirit was telling me like, do, do different shit. Like, you know, like you're a channeler, you're Oracle, you're Alchemizer. Do things that are catered towards your soul. And I just felt so called to just like make flashcards, make my little own tarot deck, make my little own just like energies and messages that I need to be able to tell the collective based off of my perspective of what I've been going through, but also what I know that y'all need to hear at this time. So let's see. And that's that's a message within itself. Start doing things of how you feel like it needs to be done, how you want it to be done, how you need to be seen in the world. Stop trying to fit again. Stop trying to fit into this world when you're supposed to create a world for yourself. You keep going back to the same old people that's not giving you any fulfillment, that's not giving you any love, that's not giving you any self-respect because of the way that you love yourself. You don't love yourself like that. You don't encourage yourself. You don't see yourself. You don't talk to yourself. You don't be one with yourself. So, of course, you're going to get people who are one-sided. Of course, you're going to get people who lack commitment because you're not committed with yourself. It's just not. That's why you've been at war with yourself. What does it say? Time to worry about self. Leave that dope alone. Time to worry about self. Leave that dope alone. Leave that dope alone. Leave it alone. Stop smoking for a while. Stop vaping for a while. Stop doing the things that take you out of your pain and try to manage your pain and actually get back into, okay, why am I so fearful? Why am I so sad? Why am I so hurt by this situation and by this person? I know who they are, but why do I continue to go back to a situation that I know is not fulfilling me? Why do I continue to fight for my position in somebody else's life when it's like I could get somebody else that will fight for me as long as I start to fight for me? What are you telling yourself? How are you talking to yourself? How? How? You know, these are the time periods where in Scorpio season, people are telling you their truth. People are showing you who they are. But are you going to listen? Are you going to imagine something of what they said and what you think they could do for you or who you think they could be for you? What you going to do? Because people telling you the truth. One thing about Scorpio, they're going to tell you the truth. It's you if you're going to keep up with the bullshit. Are you? You know what's crazy? This says, I know you want to be somebody. You need something more because you're trying to see yourself. Walk away from more. Walk away from more. It says, I know you want to be someone. You need something more because you're trying to see yourself. Walk away from more. By Cleo Soul. Why don't you? You know that song. Why don't you just let go? Don't worry about your ego. Mm -hmm, about finance. Mm-hmm. Why don't you let go? 
Why don't you let go? Why are you holding on to a mindset, to a habit, to a behavior that does not fit you, that does not serve you, that does nothing to your heart or to your soul? You know what's so crazy? When I had put it down, it was the heart chakra. I got a heart chakra message and it says, I'm aligned with the highest frequency of love. This is the time to align yourself with the highest frequency of love. This is the time where you need to stop worrying about what can this person do for me? How can this person benefit me? And it's not even about you not worrying about that, but it's like you need to start worrying about how can this person benefit me? What can this person add to my life? What can this person do to my life? Don't worry about how you can add to somebody's life. You should know the value that you bring. You should know the love that you bring. You should know the purpose that you bring. You should know the type of love and what type of energy you will bring into somebody's life and how you're going to improve somebody's life. It's the fact so how will you, how will they improve your life? How will they improve your life? How will they pour into you? How will they align with this new person that you're trying to be? And this new person that you need them to be for yourself because you're a new person. You're a new entity. I don't know about y'all, but all these eclipse and full moons and new moons have gotten me to be patient with myself. Has gotten me to slow down. Has gotten me to release the burden of thinking I need to know how and I think I, 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 it's just thinking that I have to do everything by myself and with myself. I'm not, I'm not by myself. I'm not a single entity. I'm in a partnership. Me and God is very locked in for life first, forever and always. And at this present moment, I've been, I've been really realizing I've been trying to do everything. I've been a man. I'm a woman. So why am I still acting like I have to be a man and conquer and conquer and conquer the world i keep getting tricked up on my throat one because i'm talking so fast so i need to slow down because i don't need to talk so fast and that just shows me that i'm trying to get all of these messages out because i feel like i'm just gonna forget everything that i'm saying and i'm not gonna have enough time to really channel what i'm saying but that's that's the message within itself slow down the words are still going to be there. Spirit is still going to talk to you. Spirit is still going to talk through you. You don't have to go so fast. <laughs> you don't have to go so fast, baby girl. You don't have to go so fast. You do not have to go so fast. All you need to do is... Just breathe. You know, Scorpio season is really teaching us how to breathe. Because Scorpios are so, they don't take risks on themselves. They'll take risks with other people, but they won't take risks on themselves. They won't do things for themselves, but they'll do things for other people. Because I've noticed a Scorpio sign, really, all they want is love. All they want is love, and all they want is to, like, really, like, just take care of their partner. To really, like, be around their partner. They really just want somebody to love them better than they can love themselves. Hold on.